Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be diving into the world of Harmony One and specifically taking a look at the price action of the One Coin. We have seen some pretty interesting moves most recently and we're going to dive into what exactly has been going on. As we get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit the like button, I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new, why not subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here. Right with this said done and out of the way, let's dive right into this technical analysis on Harmony 1. We're going to start things off with the weekly chart like we usually do guys just to talk through the structure make sure that everything is still very much intact. We can see that everything started back in March for wave 1, wave 2 kind of bottomed out towards the end of 2020. We spiked up to uh, you know in the new year to new highs um, around uh, I think it was like uh, March time of 2021. We pulled back uh, during June, July and August um, and then we started to see a nice surge again to the upside. Now uh, we did set a new all-time high briefly and then obviously Bitcoin decided it was going to pull us down a little bit. Some interesting things have been going on over this side of the chart. We'll get into that in a moment. We do anticipate uh, Harmony 1 moving up to around that 79.7 cent area. That's according to the current performance of the high of 3, the low of 4. This actually allows us to kind of put Fibonacci out there. I'll go through that on the lower time frame as well. That does equal though another 370% uh, move from the current position, so pretty lucrative uh, ROI on what is remaining in this bull run. Okay, um, overall, we uh, have seen from March to March, uh, 385 days, 18,905% in gains. This is definitely one of the top performers of our portfolio. Um, it's done significantly more gains than we have seen with something like uh, Bitcoin, for example, which is only 1,609%. With Ethereum, it is only 5,103%. Uh, um, and, you know, I think even VeChain was uh, slightly lagging at 18,295%. So, Harmony 1 doing 18,905 is definitely a good performer for the portfolio. It has performed well. And I do expect it to continue to perform well. Now, I know a lot of people have a lot of frustrations with this project. Um, just around the fact that it seems to trade sideways for, for periods of time, right? Or uh, maybe you bought at the top of three and you've seen it do nothing but go down, right? But uh, I'm hoping that a lot of people are encouraged by what they've seen been seeing recently. And with you know, what we've been talking about for, for months now about where this project is going and the kind of things that Harmony One are working on are absolutely critical for uh, the future, right? And uh, we think about what blockchains are, you know, are doing now and where you know, what is going to be a required of a blockchain tech in the future. And Harmony One is definitely on that forefront of where things are going. And um, so overall, um, everything's looking pretty good, right? The, the future and things that are being built for Harmony One are looking pretty good. And of course, the charts on this uh, this weekly chart here is looking very, very tidy as well. We can see that we were oversold on our stochastic RSI at the beginning of the bull run. Uh, we can see that we were oversold during the wave two, and we can see that we were oversold during wave four, okay? And uh, again, we were down in several months on all of these corrected correction waves, right? And uh, on the upside, we were overbought for wave one, overbought for wave three, and we up in this area, a little bit of volatility recently, but overbought for the most part, on our uh, on our fifth wave, right? As we're getting into this nice strong push to the upside overall, and um, so everything on this weekly chart is very nice, tidy. The structure's still intact; nothing has been invalidated. We had this upward trend really kickstart from February of 2020. Found the limit on this in wave one. We broke through it in wave three. Tested it in wave three. Tested it in wave four. And uh, hopefully, this is going to be an interesting area for our way back down as well. So overall, everything's looking pretty good at the moment. Um, no, no problems to report on our weekly chart. So let's jump down into our daily. Uh, and the daily chart here, guys, really allows us to take a look at what's been going on uh, most recently. But we're going to focus in to start with on the Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so taking current performance into consideration, we have a high of three and a low of four. What does that actually indicate to us going further forward? Well, this actually indicates that we should be looking for 79.7 cent. This is the 4.236 extension on the Fibonacci. Now, from here, it is really too much of a leap to kind of overextend to a dollar. Okay, so a dollar is where I put the fifth wave here. Um, but obviously, from a performance point of view, uh, the current performance of three to four sees the 4.236 come in at 7.7, uh, 79.7 cent, right? Um, so from there, obviously, you know, as I said, it's a small jump to go a little bit further. Now, in order to do that, we need to see something different, right? So obviously, you know, technical analysis only really looks at the historical data. It sees what's happened in the past and 
you know, based on that, we're going to go somewhere else, right? Um, pretty standard thing. It's uh, something that's actually taught quite well, I think, in Japan, where basically if you do a certain set of actions and you've performed a certain way by performing those actions again, you'll uh, you'll basically get the same result, right? And that's often why they say, you know, it's insanity to just keep doing the same thing and expect something different to occur. Um, so overall, you do need to see something different happen if we want to overextend and go to that dollar. Now, I think it's very possible uh, with some of the recent developments and things that we are seeing with Harmony that we do over extend from here because these are things that were different and outside of what we had happened previously in the history of Harmony 1. So the current performance wasn't based on some of those new developments that have occurred. So therefore we could potentially overextend. So we'll have to see how it goes um, but for now I'd be happy with a 79.7 cent anyway considering how cheap I was buying Harmony 1 in the first place and obviously as a validator for Harmony 1 I would just be uh, looking to liquidate uh, according to my strategy and uh, buy back in the bear market significant portions, get it all delegated into the pool uh, and earn a nice passive income on uh, on my Harmony One holdings, right? Because uh, for me, uh, it's all about uh, not only taking profits, but also thinking longer term because uh, where we are in 2021 is obviously a, fa a fantastic place to be, um, but we are incredibly new still. The, the industry is so new, in fact, that, uh, you know, there's still significant portions um, of profit to be made over the span of many years. So obviously selling and buying back is a key part of my strategy personally. Now I'm not a financial advisor, nor is Chris, so make sure you do your own research and all of that kind of good stuff. But for me, I like Harmony One. I think it's got some serious potential. It's definitely something that I do think is gonna be around for years to come. And uh, as a result of all of that, um, I do think that uh, you know selling and buying is a good strategy for me personally on making sure I have a really good strong position for 2025, 2030, etc. cetera. Um, so overall, let's take a look at the current performance, right? Because what's been going on most recently was a good surge to the upside. We went past the 618, which is a previous area that we were rejected from. We went past the 702, another area that we were rejected from. Turned that into a support line, by the way. Uh, we pushed past the 786, again, another area we were rejected from. And then we set a new all-time high. This was when Bitcoin decided to pull us down, right? So we pulled down. And we found ourselves testing this lower area. Everyone, again, was panicking, fearing the market, all that kind of stuff. But right now, today, well, what are we doing? Well, we're pushing back past, right? We found resistance at the 618. Pushing up to the 702 right now, looking to push past the 702, try to get past the 786, and then go on to those new all time highs. Okay, so as long as Bitcoin doesn't do anything too crazy, we should be in a pretty good position with Harmony One. Now, obviously, I'm still expecting volatility on the smaller time frames. Um, and what I mean by this is uh, that basically until we're kind of through probably next week, um, we should be expecting volatility. But once we're out of September and we go into October, I do think the worst is behind us and we're going to be in a really strong position. Bitcoin is kind of forecasting about 67k in October. So something I do think, uh, you know, will rise many boats, including Harmony One. And as a result of that, uh, Harmony One should be looking to probably go up to our uh, 1.618 area of the Fibonacci retracement tool. Okay, so this would actually come in at 33.3 cent. That's the kind of target that I'm scoping out. Okay, and um, there is actually other patterns forming here along with many of these other ones. But basically, if we just reassess this for a second, we've got the cup and we've got the handle. And then we obviously will have a push to the upside that will take us up to about 33.3 cent. Okay, so again, looking pretty tidy on where we are looking for October. Um, so overall, we've got some interesting levels, right? 79.7, a 370% move. We've got the cup and handle looking to project us out in October to about 33 cent. Um, so some new interesting all-time highs are just around the corner here for Harmony. But I am still expecting volatility on the smaller timeframes until we get through this month and go into October. So be mindful that although the projections are looking very tidy, the weekly charts looking good, the daily charts looking good, there is still volatility on the smaller timeframes. But with that being said, let's jump over to the Evide.io dashboard and start talking about the underlying value, the underlying data for Harmony One. The artificial intelligence and machine learning here is updated every single day, and it shows you some of the metrics that sit behind the data. And they show you uh, on a rating basis how it thinks um, you know, Harmony One is performing and going to continue to perform. Now, if you're not familiar with Evide.io, there is a link in the description below. Check it out. Sign up for free. You can have a look at the underlying data, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and from here, you'll be able to basically ascertain 
whether a particular project is fearful or not fearful or uh, has liquidity problems, doesn't have liquidity problems, is uh, good in terms of risk reward, all of that kind of good stuff. And in the case of Harmony One, it's an A3 cryptocurrency, right? Um, so actually performing incredibly well considering everything that's going on. Obviously, this is represented in the candles that you see today. Um, and we can go a little bit deeper than that. We can go to the AMI had ratio showing liquidity, no problems with liquidity in A2 rating. Um, the fear and greed index, right? You have things like Cardano with extreme fear, Bitcoin with extreme fear. Um, but over here with uh, the Avaya, io dashboard the fear and greed index for harmony is a b1 a b1 actually represents neutral it's not fearful it's not greedy it's actually in a pretty good spot i would anticipate if we have a good run today and um, going over the weekend we could potentially see this fear and greed index actually climb up into a greedy scenario so that's going to be really one into watch out for and i think it's going to be a, a good metric to kind of monitor and um, because we aren't going to see those that uh, or that huge volatility that you're seeing with some other coins that are more fearful right now um, i do expect volatility as i said said but I don't think it's going to be the extreme volatility that you've been seeing with many of these other altcoins in the space. We jump down a little bit lower. These to the sharp ratio. The sharp ratio is your risk reward ratio. This is the risk to holding Harmony One versus the rewards of holding Harmony One. And right now, an A2 rating is in your favor, well above the 50 day average. And um, it's basically suggesting that um, holding Harmony One would be a good idea rather than a bad idea. Um, obviously, it's not giving you financial advice it's not giving you buy or sell signals but it's giving you this under, uh, underlying data to say there's probably no reason why you might not want to hold this right now okay um, and then obviously over here we take a look at the ROI the profitability in A1 rating no problems overall with that either moving averages A2 again they've been performing well so there's no problems with the underlying data here for um, for, for Harmony One, it's been performing well. The artificial intelligence has no problems with it and it gives it a pretty good solid rating overall. So it's fantastic to have access to this. So I do say, guys, check it out. Um, link is in the description below. We are partnered up with them on the channel. And uh, I have to say this artificial intelligence, it's been right more times than uh, than you would believe, believe it or not. Um, let's jump back down into our charts and actually dive down into our hourly. And here we're going to be taking a look at that most recent price action, right? We can see that we are coming up against the 702 area of the Fibonacci retracement tool. Uh, and again, guys, this comes in at about 17.1 cents. We are, of course, in the overbought area, absolute 100. So we should be expecting that volatility, that kind of pullback to occur. And when we think about that pullback, back where are we thinking of going well i think there's a nice area just about here about 16.4 um that if uh, the sentiment works for us we could basically put, continue to push maybe hover around this area lower our stochastic rsi uh, without actually damaging the price too much find that 16.4 cent hold that 16.4 and then move up again. It really does depend though on what else happens in the space over the weekend. Obviously it's the Cardano Summit, so there could be some interesting things that occur there that gets uh, some more retail investors back into the crypto space, buying up some Cardano. And maybe that'll have a bit of a knock-on effect to Harmony One as well. Um, as long as Bitcoin doesn't do anything too crazy, I think we should be in for a pretty good run here with uh, with Harmony One on the shorter timeframes. But again, it's also possible that if Bitcoin does uh, misbehave that we actually pull back to the 618. Uh, that would again allow us to have a nice good area to be working from as well. So overall, we've got to bear in mind that from the oversold area, we were all the way down here. Okay, and we've moved up nicely uh, in this most recent push to the upside using that stochastic very, very well. Um, a pullback even to the 618 wouldn't be the end of the world, um, taking us down to an oversold area and only drop into this area here on the chart. So that could allow us then to, to move up nicely in the coming days as well. So even if we do lose that 16.4, um, I think we are in a pretty good position to to basically even pull back to the 618 and still move forward uh, with everything that's going on so like i said um volatility still is expected on the smaller time frames um like i said the, the market isn't greedy it's not fearful it's quite neutral which means i think ultimately it'll go with the swings of the market but it won't be as extreme as uh, what you see with uh, with many of these other altcoins in general um, but guys hopefully you have found this video useful and informative on Harmony One if you have hit the like button I really do appreciate that if you are new why not subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto with this said done and out of the way I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one